were doing stunts with helicopters flying under bridges and I'm sticking my head out of an ambulance driving at 60 miles an hour and I'm going, what's happening? <laughs> I've done nine movies with Michael, and one of my first jobs on every movie is, what's the newest, coolest gear out there? So on this movie, our dick guy sent me a shot going down like an 80-story building, straight down, and then curving right before it hit the street. And I said, Mike, look at this shot. He's like, yeah, find that company. So there was a guy named Davis Dillo. I said, how did you get that shot? And he basically said it's called FPV. And I didn't know about that type of drone. So FPV stands for first person view. Essentially, the pilot is wearing goggles and they are immersed in the camera so that they can see exactly where the drone is as if they were there. It's more like a real fighter pilot situation. Like that? Exactly. And maybe be a little higher. It's super high, fast drones that do about 100 miles an hour. I work closely with the Drone Racing League, and these guys are the best in the world. And I was always fascinated by what they could do with the aircrafts. Coming from a heavy lift, traditional cinema drone background, we could never fly the gaps or do the sort of things that they do that makes it really interesting. Best pilot we know over here. My name is Alex Vanover, and I'm a drone pilot on this movie, Ambulance, for Michael Bay. Michael gives us very concise direction. You understand what I'm saying? Because you're watching on, on a tight lens here. If you hold two more seconds on the movie screen, it, it needs a hundred more. Yeah. Good. But he gives us the ability to be creative. Oh, first shot today. We are going to do some establishing shots here while we got some awesome light. Mess around with some of the buildings and maybe do a few building dives. And uh, just get those establishing shots that are going to really make everything look epic once we get the cop cars in here. Alex Vanover is the best drone pilot on Earth. He is a freak on the sticks. He's one that we call like the child prodigy or the child. We're able to fly these drones more tight and technical and definitely a lot faster than some of those heavy lift drones. So it's a whole new arena for flying and allows us to fly in really crazy locations like inside here. Guys, we're taking the drone up, stay clear. And get some really awesome shots and uh, do something that you can't really get with any other camera or drone. Three, two, one. The skill level and the difficulty of flying an FPV drone versus traditional heavy lift drones is much different. There's no autopilot system. It's all instinctual. It's completely on the pilot. When I'm flying the drone, I'm just almost acting like Superman in a way, where I'm just trying to get these really unique angles and shots that you wouldn't see through anything else. We got some really nice stuff in the Running away. There's definitely a lot of challenges with it, but it's a lot of fun. And every time I'm flying inside here, it keeps me on my toes. Our first day, they did the glass shot coming down the building right on top of the ambulance. The Air Korea building is one of the tallest buildings in downtown LA. We went top to bottom in a little under two seconds, a few feet from the window. We're looking into the window at the reflections down at downtown, and no one had ever seen or imagined a shot like that. Here's your paint. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. I like that. Good. Yeah, that was great. Right. And Michael looked at me and said, I love these guys. Yeah. Boom. Look at them. Oh, white. Okay, great. Really cool. Dang. <laughs> So you've got drones, and their skill set has grown tremendously, but there's still a call for that practical helicopter work. You need to stay low, and then as it keeps going, you want to move it up slightly. Don't move up right away. Bring it low, then start to go up, OK? They're the best helicopter pilots in the world who have done stunts that no one could ever even imagine, and that's how Michael works. He has real professionals and people who have thought it through, even in the fast-paced nature of how he's made this movie. The helicopter work is super tough. You have the police helicopter plus the news helicopter, and you're watching the dance between the two. It's incredible to watch that and the skill level at which those guys work at. The level of professionalism behind the stunts was amazing. And that's what I have a lot of respect for, Michael, that he hires professionals around him, and everyone is the best at their job. And I think that is the skill of a great director, moving with the people who really are at the highest level.